Hello friends, welcome to the steady state diffusion in polymers under the areas of polymer process engineering. Now in the previous segments, we studied about uh, the mass transfer operation, then discuss about uh, the mechanism of mass transfer, molecular diffusion, then we studied about the fixed law of molecular diffusion, diffusion velocities, unsteady state diffusion and we ended with the, the fixed second law of diffusion. In this particular segment, we are going to discuss about the steady state diffusion through constant area. Then we will discuss about the steady state diffusion through non-diffusing components, steady state diffusion through variable area, then we will have some problems to solve and then diffusion from a sphere and we will discuss about the accumulator counter diffusion and non-accumulator uh, counter diffusion. Now let us talk about the steady state diffusion through constant area. Now assume the steady state diffusion in the x direction without any chemical reaction in a binary gaseous mixture of species A and B for one dimensional diffusion species. So for one dimensional diffusion of a species A, the molar flux can be given by this particular equation which we can say that equation number 1. Now where the n a n is equal to n a plus n b the A and B are the species as we described earlier. Now, if you separate the variables in the equation 1, this particular equation, uh, then we get minus d y a over n a minus y a n is equal to dx over c d a b. This we can say the equation number 2. So, the for gaseous mixture at constant pressure and temperature, the concentration C and the diffusion coefficient uh, d a b they are constant and independent of the position and composition so all the molar fluxes are constant in that in this particular equation therefore if we integrate the this uh, equation number 2 uh, between the boundary conditions like at a x is equal to x1 y a is equal to y a1 and at x is equal to x2 the y a is equal to y a2 now 1 and 2 they indicates the start of diffusion path and 2 indicates the end of diffusion path so if we integrate this equation then we get this particular equation with that particular boundary condition now let us say that uh, n a y a n is equal to z and d y a n is equal to d z and minus d y a because it is being consumed over the period of time that is equal to d z n. So, if we put all the values in this particular equation, we get this equation that is uh, for integration from z1 to z2 dz uh, over n z equal to y1 to y2 x1 to uh, x2 dx over c d a b that is equation number 4. So, if we integrate this particular equation, we get 1 over n ln z2 minus ln z1 is equal to 1 over c d a b x2 minus x1 and ln z2 over z1 is equal to n c d a b x2 minus x1 which comes out to be ln n a minus y a 2 n over n a minus y a 1 n which is n over c d a b x 2 minus x 1. Now, uh, this is ln n over n a n minus y a 2 n n over n minus y a 1 this is n over c d b x 2 minus x 1. So, if you multiply both the sides by n a in the, the equation then it becomes n a is equal to n a n into c d a b over x 2 minus x 1 ln n a over n minus y a 2 over n a over n minus y a 1. This is equation number 5. Therefore, after integrating with the boundary condition, the equation of for diffusion for the set condition can be expressed as n a is equal to n a over n c d a b over x 2 minus x 1 ln. 
एन ए ओवर एन माइनस वाई ए टू ओवर एन ए ओवर एन माइनस वाई ए वन दैट इज इक्वेशन नंबर सिक्स सो फॉर स्टडी स्टेट वन डायमेंशनल डिफ्यूजन ऑफ ए थ्रू नॉन डिफ्यूजिंग बी द एन बी इक्वल टू जीरो एंड एन ए इक्वल टू कॉन्स्टेंट सो देर फॉर वी कैन रिप्रेजेंट एन ए ओवर एन इज इक्वल टू एन ए ओवर एन ए प्लस एन बी दैट इज इक्वल टू वन देर फॉर द इक्वेशन नंबर सिक्स विच वी डिस्क्राइब हियर दिस कैन बिकम्स लाइक दिस एन ए ओवर इज इक्वल टू सी डी ए बी ओवर एक्स टू माइनस एक्स वन एल एन इन टू वन माइनस वाई ए टू ओवर वाई वन माइनस वाई ए वन दैट इज इक्वेशन नंबर सेवन सो फॉर नॉन डिफ्यूजिंग कंपोनेंट फॉर एन आइडियल गैस यू कैन पुट द सी टी सी इज इक्वल टू पी टी ओवर आर टी फॉर ए मिक्सचर ऑफ आइडियल गैस क्वाइट ऑब्वियस दैट इट नीड्स टू बी एड्रेस्ड विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द मोल फ्रैक्शन सो वाई ए इज इक्वल टू रो ए ओवर पी टी देर फॉर द इक्वेशन सेवन कैन बी रिप्रेजेंटेड लाइक एन ए इज इक्वल टू डी ए बी पी टी ओवर एक्स टू माइनस एक्स वन आर टी एल एन पी टी माइनस पी ए टू ओवर पी टी माइनस पी ए वन this is equation number 8 where pt is the total pressure and pa1 and pa2 they are the partial pressure of partial pressures of a at point 1 and point 2 now for the diffusion under the turbulent condition the flux is usually calculated based on linear driving force for this purpose the equation this can be become manipulated or rewrite in terms of a linear driving force since for binary gas mixture the total pressure can be given as pt is equal to partial pressure of a plus partial pressure of b therefore pt minus pa2 is equal to pb and pt minus pa1 is equal to pv1 and this can be represented as the partial pressure of a at a1 minus partial pressure of 2 is equal to partial pressure of b at point 2 and partial pressure of b at point 1 therefore the previous equation this 8 equation can become or can be represented like this which is equation number 9 so um based on the previous aspect the equation 9 can be rewritten as na is equal to dab pt over x2 minus x1 rtp and uh, rho uh, pa1 minus pa2 and this has become the equation number 10 so here this this pblm is the logarithmic mean of the pa partial pressure of a species b which is uh, can be represented like this pblm is equal to pb minus pb1 over ln pb2 minus pb1 this can be given as equation number 11 now the component a diffuses by the concentration gradient and which is given as da dya over dx now flux is uh, inversely proportional to the uh, the distance through which the diffusion occurs and the concentration of the stagnant gas that is in terms of the logarithmic mean of the partial pressure of a species b that is pblm so as x and pblm resistance increases the flux decreases this can be very well understood in this particular figure now let us take up another a uh, problem that is carbon dioxide is uh, diffusing through non diffusing air under the steady state condition at a total pressure of 1 uh, atmosphere and a temperature of 300 kelvin the partial pressure of the carbon dioxide is 20 kilopascal at one point and 5 kilopascal at other point the distance between these two points are 5 cm so 1 and 2 they are given and you need to calculate the flux of carbon dioxide which is given that at 300 kelvin uh, and at one atmosphere the diffusion coefficient dco2 air is 2 into 10 to the power minus 5 uh, meter square per second now assume uh, the ideal gas and let air is equal to b so nco2 is equal to dco2 air over rt x2 minus x1 into pt over p logarithmic mean p c o 2 1 minus p c o 2 2 now it is given that this d c o 2 is given which is equal to 2 into 10 to the power minus 5 meter square per second at 300 kelvin and 1 atom atmosphere p is equal to 1 atmosphere 
or uh, this is uh, p is equal to 1 atmosphere which is equal to 101.3 kilo pascal and t is equal to 300 kelvin so the p co2 1 is 20 kilo pascal and p co2 at the station 2 is 5 kilo pascal so p b1 this is equal to pt minus p co2 1 which is equal to 101.3 minus 20 kilo pascal which is comes out to be 81.3 kilo pascal and p b2 this is p t minus p c o2 which is 101.3 minus 5 which is comes out to be 96.3 kilo pascal now if we talk about p b l m if we substitute then it comes out to be p b2 minus p b1 over ln p b2 over p b1 which is 96.3 minus 81.3 over ln 96.3 over 81.3 which is 88590 pascal so n co2 if we substitute all the values in this particular equation we get 2 into 10 to the power minus 5 into 1.013 into 10 to the power 5 into 15,000 over 8314 into 300 and consistency of the unit must be addressed T590 and this is 2.75 into 10 to the power minus 6 kilo mole per meter square second and this is our answer. Now let us talk about the steady state equimolar counter diffusion. This is the case of the diffusion of two ideal gases where an equal number of moles of gas diffusing um, counter currently to each other. In this case Nb is equal to minus Na and the constant and Na plus Nb is equal to 0. So the molar flux in the equation at uh, steady state can be written as Na is equal to minus C D A B D Y A over D X plus Y A N where N A, A, N A plus N B is equal to N. Therefore, uh, if we substitute then this equation can become the equation number 12 which is N A is equal to minus C D A B over D Y A over D X. So, for ideal gas C is equal to P T over R T and if we substitute to this particular equation, so this N A can become the equation number 13. So, if we integrate this, this particular equation now with the boundary condition at x is equal to x1 and y a is equal to y a1 and x is equal to x2 and y a is equal to y2, the equation of the molar diffusion for a steady state accumulator counter diffusion can be written like this. Now, let us take up another problem. Now, carbon dioxide is diffusing at a steady state through a straight tube of say 0.5 m meter long with an inside diameter of 0 0.05 meter containing the nitrogen at 300 Kelvin and 1 atmosphere pressure. The partial pressure of carbon dioxide at one end is 15 kilopascal and 5 kilopascal at the other end. Now, you are supplied with the diffusion coefficient at 300 Kelvin and 1 atmosphere pressure. You need to calculate the uh, following for the steady state accumulator counter diffusion that is a molar flow rate of the carbon dioxide and the molar flow rate of uh, nitrogen. Now, so let us assume the ideal gas in equimolar counter diffusion of CO2 flux. So, NCO2 can be written as DCO2 which is given RT X2 minus X1 which is into PCO2 1 minus PCO2 at the station number 2. Now, it is given this uh, this uh, uh, d co2 is given p t is equal to 1 atmosphere which is equal to 101.3 kilo pascal t is given as 300 kelvin p co2 1 is given at 15 kilo pascal and p co2 at station number 2 is given as 5 kilo pascal and r is equal to 8.314. So, NCO2 is equal to again if we substitute all these things to this particular formula 
then it becomes NCO2 4 into 10 to the power minus 5 over 8314 into 300 into 0 0.5 0 0.5 into 15,000 minus 5,000 if we make the consistency of the unit which comes out to be 3.21 into 10 to the power minus 7 kilo mole meter square per second. Now, molar flow rate of CO2 is equal to CO2 into A. That is, A is the cross-sectional area of the tube. And given that the internal diameter of the tube is 0 0.05 meter. So, the cross-sectional area of the tube can be given as pi di square over 4 and pi over 4 into 0 0.05 and this is 1.96 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter square and molar flow rate rate of CO2 which is equal to 3.21 into 10 to the power minus 7 into 1.96 into 10 to the power minus 3 which comes out to be 6.29 into 10 to the power minus 10 kilo mole per second and this is the first part. Now, if we talk about the nitrogen, which is dCO2 N2 RT X2 minus X1, that is P N2 station 1 to P N2 station 2. Now, P N2 at 1 is given as P T minus P P C O2 1. This is 101.3 minus 15 kilopascal that is comes out to be 86,300 pascal. Similarly, P N2 at station 2 that is P T minus P C O2 at station 2. This is comes out to be 101.3 minus 5 kilopascal which comes out to be 96,300 Pascal. Now, we know the accumulator counter difference of ideal gas. This dCO2N2 is equal to dN2CO2. So, if we substitute, that comes out to be 4 into 10 to the power minus 5 over 8314 into 300 into 0 0.5 and 86,300 minus 96,300 and this uh, comes out to be 0 0.4 over 1247 minus 3.21 into 10 to the power minus 7. So, the mass flow, molar flow rate of N2 is equal to minus 3.21 into 10 to the power minus 7 kilo mole per meter square into 1.96 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter square and that comes out to be 6 point minus 6.29 into 10 to the power minus 10 kilo mole per second and that is our answer. Now, let us talk about the steady state diffusion through the variable area. Now, consider a component A which is diffusing at a steady state through a cumulative triangle here, which is tapered uniformly. Now, A is the diffusing through a stagnant non-diffusing B component and equilateral triangle. The formula of air where, uh, area where A is the length of one side can be written as A is equal to half of the side x altitude and this can be represented as like this. Now, if uh, returning to the fixed law of formula, at a position x, the flux of A through a triangle of stagnant B can be written as per this equation. And now we are having this Na is equal to Na over A is equal to 4 over square root of 3 Na A square, where this dot Na that is the rate of diffusion of A in kilo moles per second. And if we modify, then it can become the equation number 14. Now, before uh, limits are imposed, it must be remembered that uh, A is a function of x as the size of triangle uniformly tapered um, with the distance uh, uh, along the duct. So, it can be represented like A is equal to A1 plus uh, A2 minus A1 over X2 minus X1 
x minus x 1 and thereby like this. Now, uh, let us uh, if we substitute uh, the x uh, uh, and the, uh, x for a and integrating with the limits of partial pressure of component uh, a at 1 and the p a at a triangle of side a and the partial pressure of component a at point 2. So, the p a 2 um, and p a 1 then the triangle is at uh, uh, is of side a 2 this we can write as n a is equal to dot n a. Now, if we can write r t n a x 2 minus x 1 over d a b a 2 minus a 1 integration from a 1 to a 2 4 square root of 3 a square d a is equal to p t p a 1 to p a 2 the integration and d p a over p t minus p a. So, 4 r t n over 3 d a b. So, x 2 minus x 1 over a 2 minus a 1 minus 1 over a and integration from a 1 to a 2 that is minus ln p t minus p a and p a 1 to p a 2. So, this can become the 4 r t n a over 3 d a b x 2 minus x 1 over a 2 minus a 1 1 over a 1 minus 1 over a 2 and which is equal to l n p t minus p a 2 over p t minus p a 1. So, uh, if we substitute all those things, then it becomes the n a a 1 minus a 2 over a 1 a 2 which is equal to 3 d a b p t over 4 r t and a 2 minus a 1 over x 2 minus x 1 and ln p t minus p a 2 over p t minus p a 1. So, n a is equal to square root of 3 d a b p t over 4 r t a 1 minus a, a 1 o a 2 x 2 minus x 1 ln p t minus p a 2 over p t minus p a 1. This is the desired formula. Now, let us take up uh, a question and uh, that is the carbon dioxide CO2 is diffusing through a non-diffusing nitrogen and to at a steady state at um, in a conduit of 2 meter long at 300 Kelvin and a total pressure of 1 atmosphere. The partial pressure of the carbon dioxide at the left end is 20 kilo Pascal and uh, other end 5 kilo Pascal and the cross section of the conduit is in the shape of an equilateral triangle of 0 0.25 meter at the left and tapering uniformly to 0 0.05 meter at the right end. You need to calculate the transpar transport of the carbon dioxide and diffusivity is given. So, we have given the diffusivity. So, we are having the value of R 8.3140 is equal to 300 Kelvin and Pt is equal to 1 atmosphere which is equal to 101.3 kilo Pascal and Pa1 is equal to 20 kilo Pascal and Pa2 is equal to 5 kilo Pascal. A1 is equal to 0 0.025 meter a2 is equal to 0 0.5 meter and x2 minus x1 is equal to 2 meter. So, if we substitute then we get n a is equal to square of 3 d a b which is the formula which we previously described and 4 r t a1 a2 x2 minus x1 ln p t minus p a 2 over p t minus p a 1. Now, if we substitute all the values, we get 
this n a is equal to 0 0.22 into 10 to the power minus 2 into ln 96.3 into 10 to the power 3 81.3 into 10 to the power 3 this comes out to be 3.74 into 10 to the power minus 11 kilo mole per second and this is our answer. Now diffusion from the sphere. Now this is there are several examples of diffusion through the spherical uh, shape bodies like evaporation of a drop of a liquid, the evaporation of a ball of naphthalene, the diffusion of the nutrient to a sphere like microorganism in a liquid. Now here assume a constant number of moles N A uh, of A from a sphere whose area is equal to 4 pi square through the stagnant B. Now here you can see in the figure. Now the, from the fixed law of diffusion, the rate of the diffusion can be expressed as per this equation and which we can say this is equation number 15. Now if uh, we integrate uh, with the limits of uh, P A 2 at R 2 and P A 1 at R 1, this gives minus R T N A over 4 tau D A B and P total 1 over R1 minus 1 over R2 that is equal to ln P total over P um, minus P A2 minus P A1 and that is the equation number 16. So, as R1 is less than less than R2 and then R1 over R2 is almost equal to 0. So, if we substitute then it becomes the N A 4 tau R1 square is equal to DAB then P total PA1 minus PA2 over RTP VLM R1 which is equal to NA1 and that is the, the flux at the surface and this is the equation number 17. So, this, this is equation number 17 can be simplified if P A is small, P A 1 is small compared to P total. So, then P B L M is almost equal to P total. So, we can set T 2 R 1 is equal to D 1 that is diameter and C A 1 is equal to P A 1 over R T. Then the, this equation 17 can become N A 1 is equal to 2 D A B over D 1 C A 1 minus C A 2. This is equation number 18. Now let us take up a problem that is a sphere of naphthalene having a, a radius of 5 mm which is suspended in a large volume of still air at 310 Kelvin and one atmosphere. The partial pressure of the surface of naphthalene at 310 Kelvin is 50 Pascal and assuming that dilute gas phase, the diffusion coefficient of the component that is DAB of the naphthalene in air is at 310 Kelvin is given as 6 into 10 to the power minus 6 meter square per second. You need to calculate the evaporation of naphthalene from the surface. Now here DAB is given that is 6 into 10 to the power minus 6 square meter per second. PA1 is 50, PA2 is equal to 0 and R1 is equal to 5 over 1000 meter and R is as usual 8.314 and PBLM is equal to PT is equal to 1 atmosphere which is equal to 101.3 kilo Pascal. So, if you use the formula then N A over 4 tau R 1 square that is D A B P total P A 1 minus P A 2 over R T P B L M R 1 which is equal to N A 1. So, this can be represented as 4 tau R 1 square this is equal to 6 into 10 to the power minus 6 into 1.013 into 10 to the power 5 into 50 over 
into 310 into 1.013 into 10 to the power 5 into 0 0.005 which comes out to be 0 0.23 into 10 to the power minus 6 kilo mole per meter square and that is our answer. So dear friends, in this particular segment we discussed about the mass transfer aspects and diffusion which are very essential in the polymeric systems and for your convenience we have enlisted variety of references and which can be used for the further studies. Thank you very much.